Every Steiner school welcomes children of all abilities, faiths and backgrounds. And every Steiner pupil is nurtured as an individual, someone with distinct physical, emotional, spiritual and academic needs. Their methods are tried and tested and their schools are part of state-funded mainstream education in many countries. There's a spiritual dimension within Steiner education, but not a faith-based religious element. There are um, spiritual or religious lessons, but those lessons are not about inculcating a faith. It's about being open to different faiths and understanding them and taking part in ceremonies, being aware of the, the seasons, being aware of nature. It's that very broad way in which children, over time, come to have a feeling for a broader side of life, the spiritual, rather than taking on a set of beliefs. Class time is divided between active learning periods and quiet working sessions, with all schools following a broad and balanced curriculum. It's much more an emphasis on looking, observing, experiencing the phenomena and moving with those phenomena through the years of childhood and into adolescence. Each pupil has a main lesson book and it's treasured. They write in it all they learn in the main lesson in their own words and drawings. These books are evidence of the careful and natural way they're growing intellectually. There's nothing forced about their development at all. Part of that broad development is the teaching of skills like knitting, which develop physical dexterity and hand-eye coordination. All of this is a precursor to formal academic learning, which is introduced when the child reaches seven. I suppose when they're nimble with their fingers, they're nimble with their minds. Artistic activity and the development of the imagination are hugely important in Steiner schools, where high standards are achieved through encouragement, not pressure, through finding the joy in learning, not through testing. As well as active learning, there's plenty of time at a Steiner school for reflection, for thinking. As the class works together on the same project, they absorb their newfound knowledge, often in silence. It would appear that they are so totally absorbed in what they're doing that the silence is actually their own interest and concentration. And children who are bored tend to be rowdy children. Children who are absorbed tend to be quieter. When children enjoy what they're doing, when there's joy in learning, they tend to learn at a, a deeper rate, not necessarily faster, but certainly deeper. Play is an incredibly important stage in developing all the rounded skills that support the higher more detailed aspects of learning that we think of conventionally as academic learning. Pupils at this Steiner school are proud of the education they're receiving. You have to look at the, the people who are coming out at the top end of the school, who are like class 12, class 13, who've been through the whole thing, and you talk to them, and you, can, you get a different sense when you're talking to them. You're talking to someone who's often more well-rounded and has a broader knowledge, and I think that's testament to the education. I didn't learn to read or write till I was about eight, and by ten I was reading Lord of the Rings, and so kind of you just it's a lot quicker then, and then the lessons you learn from the younger classes you bring into that. So while you're consciously not learning to read and write, you, you are, like unconsciously, I think. Steiner graduates are highly sought after in further education and workplace for their unjaded interest in the world and for their resourcefulness. The learning environment is very rigorous and just that you're doing other things as well doesn't mean that the academic side is neglected in any way. I know it's a stereotype but no one says school has to be boring and it certainly wasn't. Steiner schools produce fully rounded young adults who are ready to embrace all of life's potential.